hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rose Wright and I write and narrate Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. If you haven't watched the previous 14 parts, I will link them in the description box below. If you enjoy what you hear, please like this video so I know and subscribe. That would help me out a lot. Without further ado, happy with you. Chapter 15, Heartache. I swear on my life, sweet Emily, that I will do whatever it takes to bring you home. Gabriel Agrest fell to his knees while staring at the cold, lifeless body of his wife. I need you. Your son needs you. Rare tears flowed from his eyes. This is all my fault. If only I could have protected you. My heart aches for you and yearns for your touch. Please. Mr. Agrest pleaded. Gabriel often took solace in his wife's chamber. She looked perfectly serene and just as beautiful as ever. He had been cultivating a garden around her casket-like enclosure. Emily loved flowers. They reminded her of her childhood working in her parents' flower shop. High heels clicked behind him, but he didn't turn around. Sir? Natalie's calming voice stirred behind him. Leave me alone, Natalie. He didn't even turn around to look at her. His voice was cold, shattered. Gabriel was but a shell of the man he once was. But sir, you haven't eaten all day. It's getting late. She moved to put her hands around his neck, caressing his face. I said leave. He bit back, shirking away from his assistant's cold hands. His words cut like shards of glass. Clearly hurt, Natalie obeyed. As you wish, sir. She gave a slight bow, letting herself out of the room. Mr. Agrest grimaced. He didn't mean to sound so hurtful, but he was hurting. One day it will all be worth it. His memories flashed to when he was happy, truly happy. When she was here, thinking of her broke his heart in two, especially when he thought of her and Adrian together. Adrian had her eyes, her smile, her hair, her kind, gentle spirit. Emily was perfect, and so was Adrian. Gabriel had longed to spend time with his son, but being with him was too painful. Adrian's being brought back all of the painful memories. Just staring at his beautiful son reminded him of the years he lost trying to help his now unconscious bride. Maybe that's why he avoided Adrian. How was he supposed to explain that this was all for Adrian? How would his perfect son realize that he had done everything to bring his mother back? Would Adrian forgive him? Adrian hadn't been the same since his mother disappeared, and Gabriel never provided an acceptable explanation. It didn't matter anyway. The miraculous did this to her. Gabriel seethed with anger. The miraculous he was attempting to manipulate for his will was the ultimate reason for his wife's demise. He had a wish to make, and he would not rest until he got what he wanted, what he deserved. He had lived a life trying to build a brand so his son would be taken care of no matter what happened. Words echoed in his mind from the last battle with Ladybug and Cat Noir. Something about a price to pay? That making a wish would have extreme consequences. He knew the price. A life for a life. His life. He would gladly give his life in exchange for Adrian to have his mother back. Gabriel finally rose from his place in front of Emily, his knees cracking, and him realizing he was no longer a young man. His face was as stoic as ever, hands behind his back, as he gazed at Emily's sleeping face. Master? Nuru, the purple butterfly Kwame, flitted to Gabriel's side. Gabriel let out a sigh, moving his glasses and pinching the bridge of his nose in frustration. What is it, Nuru? The little Kwame spoke in a nervous, squeaky voice. Is there anything I can do to help? I've noticed you've been coming here more recently and I want to help. 
Nuru thought Gabriel's actions were abominable, but the sooner Gabriel accomplishes retrieving the bug and black cat miraculous, the sooner this would be over, right? You can help by staying out of my way, Gabriel yelled vehemently. Nuru hated himself for helping Hawk Moth. Oh, how the other Kwamis and Master Fu must be disappointed in him. The only companion Nuru had was Gabriel Agrest, this angry man who hated nearly everyone and everything, whose reign of terror was only beginning. Thank you so much for listening. Sorry if you guys heard some background noise. I'm currently doing laundry. Oops. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And drop a comment below letting me know that you made it to the end. If you aren't sure what to say, tell me how your day is going. As always, stay miraculous!